you should be creating content in your 40s and because in the age of 40 you you kind of stop caring about what people think all the time you have learned a lot and you have a lot to give we i'm a 47 year old woman i have been through some things i have been around the corner and back so i can teach somebody something and help them to not make some of the same mistakes that i have made in my 20s and in my teens and my 30s that's why we should be creating content we i feel like it's a demand on our wisdom and knowledge it's like the people older than us they have done their part they still doing their part but a lot of us have not taken the baton to the baton or however you say that word to be able to reach the next generation is people gen z's some millennials some some of them they they doing their thing but like gen z's younger they we are responsible for teaching them some some people didn't have parents a father mother whatever the situation or even if they did some of us did not know to teach our kids certain things because we only can give what we know so it is our responsibility to help raise another generation and you can do that by creating content getting on here whatever your niche is and being giving it to the world and don't be so focused on money that you blocking because that's a blocker if that's all you're doing it for because you're going to get paid because the bible say that your gift will make room for you and it'll put you before great men so if we post consistently and think about you know the content pillars and things you can talk about and however you do it if it's cooking because some people don't know how to cook so they're going to click they're going to uh, search up recipes and if you on there cooking and showing people how to make pancakes from scratch how to do this how to clean up how to do whatever then if people that don't know that is going to tune in into your videos and your content as long as you're being authentic as long as you are they can learn from you like there's something that you know that somebody else don't know and i'm talking to myself too because i struggle with this i've been trying to create content for like since 2020 i started off on my main channel well not i don't call that my main channel no more but my first channel and i made a video talking about things that happened to me in the past and and everything and then because people know me on there i feel embarrassed about the lack of numbers so i paid for views and subscribers to make it look like i'm doing the big thing like i really felt like <laughs> like just from watching others that that's what it had to be like i feel like if people and uh, people do do that i feel like when they see your video um and then they look at the views like if you have a whole lot of views then people more opt to watch it so that's what made me feel like that i needed to <clears throat> excuse me increase my numbers so that people will want to click on the content so i did that for that video and then it was like two others i made i tried that one then i made a video like a truth or drink good girl style with my daughter it was funny it was cute and then like a would you rather and then we made some videos for my daughter channel and then i made a few more after that but i was not consistent i was not i was kind of going in all these different directions i had no idea about anything so i was not uh consistent like when i'm saying anything i mean like seo about being intentional like who is my audience who am i talking to and then if people was resonating it was people organically resonated with it then i should have like kind of took like if it was gonna be a fun channel then i could have did that but i was kind of doing some of everything on one channel i didn't even realize you can make more than one channel at that time you know it was like in 2023 2022 into 2022 2023 i had an awakening like um i went through a life-changing thing in 2020 june when i lost my sister so i my life had not been the same but in this time period i started coming across like on my for you page on youtube videos that i had never even know existed on youtube teaching me things like um you know pinterest seo motivation i don't know it was i don't really know what point or what video was it a prayer i said was it a church service i went to something changed in me one day i just 
start being hungry for like knowledge and understanding and it's like i'll be i remember yeah it was in april no march of 2023 i just start i'll be just up for like 24 hours sometimes just watching videos and then working on my own like i have been i done went down so many rabbit holes of like oh oh you gotta do this to do that like creating making a website oh you gotta do this and then i pay for memberships and different stuff like not memberships but like subscriptions to learn how to do like i say like uh shopify like oh you gotta have a shopify for i mean just stand store this and that just so many different things and then I kind of wore myself out because I was just doing it. So, man, I done, like, got into, like, kid books, kid this and that. Like, <sighs> your girl did a lot. I, and I'm still doing a lot. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, and then it was, like, unpaid. But I still didn't care. That's how I know I had. I didn't know at first, initially, I had a passion for it. But I have a passion for, con for creating content. I really do. I just have to hone in on what is it exactly because i need to do the one thing first because i'm i'm still unpaid content creator i have made a little bit off of like books on amazon and everything but it's because i have so many interests and so i have not taken the time to really master anything so that would be my best thing one of the best pieces of advice i would say to you if you don't know is to take the time to master something or just focus on the one thing that you will get at that people have told you that that you just do. So I always bring back like the um example of like LeBron James, like he was good at sports, basketball, football and all that, but basketball was his superstar thing. So that is the thing that he excelled in, that he was driven in, that nobody can beat him in in his you know frame of what that was the thing that took him to where he at i'll just say that that's the thing he was driven for he get up before other people practice more than other people train he did what he had to do michael jordan different ones i'll just say lebron because he the latest one that i really you know know about his story really touched me but like by not having his dad and his wife being raised by a single mother and then the way he is with his father, I mean, with his children and like the things he do for the community, like a lot of people want to talk about him in a negative light, but don't shed light on, on the positive things that he do. Um, so I would just say people like him, Beyonce, I'll say like, uh, she knew as a little girl, like they, she was training, dancing, singing, practicing. Like, she went through her ups and her downs, but she still stuck with the one thing that she had a passion for that she was real good at. Not saying that she only do one thing, and not saying LeBron do only one thing or none of them, but I'm saying to get themselves in the door of their greatness, they did the, they, the one thing was on their brain. Then you have branches. That's what's coming to my mind, branches of different areas if you can if we can focus on the one thing that makes us the superstar of our own life it, it can be whatever it does not matter you can be the uh, superstar of of um, programming or nursing or anything you are the superstar of that that's the thing that is going to make you rich but sometimes we think of it as not good enough. Oh, that's too little. I remember I had a dream years ago where I was like, I think it was myself as a little girl. It was a little girl that had a robe on. And I was like helping her, putting her like glasses on, sunglasses. And yeah, it had to be me because that really happened to me in real life when I was in a little fashion show when I was a kid. But um, so I was doing that stuff for her, put her on some pearls. And then it was like, three letters came and one of them said salvation army and something else it was like gifts and then i remember in a dream i was just like after i did all that for the little girl i was just like oh, that ain't good enough or that's nothing like i immediately some reason i just thought it wasn't good enough or it wasn't enough and that just resonating with me so much now i just i don't want to cry on here but It resonates with me because a lot of times I spend so many hours on content and 
I put it out and then it don't reach the numbers or do what I think it should do. And then I just start feeling like it's not good enough when I see other people that's like excelling in their thing or feeling like I should be there already. I should know what I'm doing. I should know who I'm talking to. And then when I don't and it feel like it's taking so long and I'm still unpaid, it sometimes is a bomber. But then I have to remember that. Like, it don't happen overnight. And if I just focus on the one thing and I just master that instead of trying, like, so many different things all the time, like, um, not sticking with it, I'll say that. not Because I feel like you should try a lot of things, but you got to stick with something, master something, and then have other things you're working at. And that's why I have my Bible out because um, the scripture came to me when I was sitting here thinking. I wasn't even really about to make this video. I was going to make something else but I just feel like this is what came to my mind when I was thinking this is I'll tell you the thought that I'm going to read the scripture I was thinking I'm going to come on here and I'm going to tell y'all this is this is my lowest common denominator like this is the lowest moment this is the lowest place that you would see me in the place that I try to hide the, place, the reason why I don't go live the reason why I don't show my face as much on here is because this is the lowest state of outward stuff appearance that I'm in. I never would have came on here. I used to, before when I first started doing it, I always had to try to get my makeup done, my hair. I'm in a low place as far as financially, like on the outward stuff. In the inside, I'm in a high place, but on the outward, I ain't there yet. It, I have, it ain't caught up yet. So it's like, I'm on here with my slick back, my teeth not right yet. I have a dentist appointment next week. Um, I just ain't have the finances to get myself together like that. I went through homelessness. We, me and my daughter stayed in a car, slept in a car a few times in the summer this year. I moved from Texas to Colorado. I didn't even want to stay in Colorado. It's just we needed a place to stay. And my son was here, so we just end up staying here because we don't want to be homeless, you know. We I experienced that, and I didn't want to show. I thought that you know I got to get it together before I can come out here. I don't want to be a hypocrite or like, but I don't have an aesthetically pleasing life. But I just know, and I've been seeing different people along here, and I just know that I like the real stuff too. So I can't like hide that from y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all, like, and I still create content through it all, I still try to give and pour out, but what I hadn't been given is me, the real me, like, I'm hiding behind something, so sometimes I got to come to the forefront, I'm still going to make, con like, faces videos, and, um, like, trying, because I really like animations and trying to get more into that, but I still need to come up, like, do lives and just come and show y'all who I am behind that wall because I'm a real person and I ain't, I'm not paid to do any of this. I just do it because I genuinely, I love to do it. I love to encourage people. And I know that we, we all got gifts and talents and we all got something that we have to offer. It's my responsibility to c create content for people because I have a service that I have to do period you do too not just me we all do we got something that we are responsible to do regardless if it's books blogs because some people don't want to make videos it might be your book it might be a blog um, post that you make but your gifts will make room for you i promise you just be consistent and focus on your superstar thing and then start branching off if you having trouble but this is what um was given to me when i was thinking of like contemplating making the video or not today even though i know that i needed to do it um it's an escalation um, uh, give me forgive me because i have trouble pronouncing certain words escalations and i'm gonna put the uh <laughs> put it in the description but e s i mean e c c l e s i a t e s Ecclesiastes. I don't know. Forgive me, y'all. You know, I didn't forgive me. <laughs> but it's um, Ecclesiastes 11 and 1. Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many 
days. Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. And then I, uh, the a scripture that they have references in here was going to be Isaiah 32 and uh, 20. And that says, Blessed are you who sow beside all waters, who send out freely the feet of the ox and the donkey. That's just saying to me, cast, make that content. Different channels, different ways, blog posts, written, because you don't know which one's going to take off. Cast it and then keep going. Don't just be like, oh, let me just look, keep, look, keep looking. Like, yeah, I ain't saying don't check your analytics or anything like that. But if I'm casting my bread, my content, my insights, my thoughts, my on these different platforms, LinkedIn, Pinterest, YouTube, whatever, you don't know which one is going to take off for you. And I don't know for sure the scripture, but it talks about um, the riches quickly gain, won't last. I know it's in Proverbs. I just don't know the address. I have to look it up. But it's like the main thing, we got to be consistent. We can't be like trying to do these get rich quick schemes. A lot of times people may be on here telling us different stuff because it gives views and things on here. But we got to do our own research, work out your own soul salvation, ask God for you, for help. Because a lot of times I know, and this is the Holy Spirit just giving me this right now. A lot of times I have been um, delayed in my own progress because I have been, I'll be, I watch so much videos and so many different, I, and so many different teachings on like creating content and da, 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 da. And sometimes I do that before I even go to God in prayer, before I read his word, I'm taking everybody else's word. And then I go try it and go down this rabbit hole for hours. Y'all, y'all should see me. I am addicted to content creating. I would be like hours. Sometimes it will be like the next morning before, and I'm still at my computer trying to do something, working on something. It's down a rabbit hole. So, and that's another thing about being 40. You'd be forgetting what you was about to say, what you were saying before that. Um, I don't know. But anyway, y'all, just seek the Lord in everything that you do. And he will blow on it. Like, some of y'all going to take off just like that because the, the kind of content you got is rich it needed right now. Some of us, it might take a little bit of time, but that's why I said well, you got to be consistent. You can't do it once and just keep looking at everybody else, other people's numbers and looking at comparing. No, sometimes it take a minute. Let it pick up. Just be consistent. Keep showing up and then improving. Like if you see like, dang, okay, it still ain't like, okay, what else can I do? But if you're coming and sh- doing yourself, then okay, Lord, do you, do I need to do this? Another, do I need to make this in another type of way? Do I need to post? A, do I need to start a blog? Do I need to start? Do I need to write an ebook? Like figure, like go to God. He He said, I will give you the desires of your heart. He said, you won't lack nothing if you trust in me. Like, so he said, he, he will do all of that for us. And he'll provide, he gave us the power to create wealth. We are created to create. So that just means like sometimes if it ain't seeming like it's doing right, like, it ain't going right for you. The numbers ain't picking up. It ain't happening the way you anticipated. Just keep going. This YouTube is a business. And um, all of these other platforms, you building a business. You building a business within your, for yourself. So, you know, all the time, McDonald's didn't happen overnight. And um, anything we see, it did not happen over time. It took planning, preparation, them to keep doing it. Whatever they did to get people to know, oh, I'm here. So the same thing sometimes with these videos. Some of them may not take off. Your channel might not take off right away. It might take you a year or two years like, of consistency. So that's why, I mean, that Bible saying that casting your okay, because you don't know which of these platforms is going to pick up for you. It might be an ebook that you you wrote based on a video or you wrote the ebook and then you made video on it. That thing might take off for you. And then people be driven to your channel because... I read a book by this person or, you know, you never know. All I'm just saying is that consistency is key and don't limit yourself to one way of doing things. All right. So, y'all, I know I've been on here long enough. I'm going to try to do a little editing and make this video 
speed up some. But thank y'all so much. And y'all have questions, comments, what's your thoughts on this topic, subject of for in your 40s creating content. Leave that in the comment. And go ahead and give me a subscribe. It don't cost you nothing to subscribe to the channel. It don't cost you nothing to comment. It don't cost nothing to do that. I ain't saying everybody gonna subscribe, but if it resonates with you, give your girl a subscribe. Give your girl a like. Show some love for these algorithm streets out here. Thank you, and have a great and a blessed day.